what it do. It's just me, Evolution of Beauty, and today I'm coming to you to do a wash and go with one of my favorite gels. It's the Ampro Pro Style Olive Oil Gel. I love this gel. It smells amazing. It's fairly thick. I usually use this gel for my twist outs, but I wanted to try it for a wash and go because I'm looking for something a little different, and I'll talk about that a little later on in the video. So my hair is already shampooed and conditioned, and I used the uh, Shea Moisture Super, Super Fruit Complex. I shampooed my hair, I, I, then I used the mask, and then I used the conditioner as my leave-in. The 10-in-1 Renewal their conditioner, I use this as my leave-in, and I sealed it in with my oil mix. And then I just sectioned off my hair to begin the process of applying the gel. So, I usually, when I apply my um, leave-in conditioner and oil, I usually let it sit on my hair for about 20-25 minutes to let it penetrate. And then I begin my styling. So, I'm going to take my gel, and I'm going to start to layer the product from the back like I normally do. Now this gel is a fairly thick gel. I was a little bit skeptical um, with using it for a wash and go because um, if you've been watching me for a while you know that my hair is, I have low density. It's very fine thin hair. So very heavy products for wash and goes, leave my hair very limp, lifeless, and stringy looking. So I kind of stick to products that are lightweight as far as gels are concerned. But I did try this on a small section of my hair just to see what it would do. And I said, well, let's just try it all over and see. I mean, what, could, what, what harm could it do except look crappy and then I just have to wash it out <laughs> so this is what we're looking like in the back so I'm gonna move on to this section and this will be the only other section that I do on camera with you all and then I'm gonna go ahead and finish applying it and then I'll come back after everything is applied and then I'll come back again later when my hair is fairly dry to discuss this particular product and why I decide decided to use it so yeah so I'm just smoothing the product on my hair is wet but it's not soaking wet but it's a little more than damp This gel has what they call sparkle lights in it to add shine to your hair. And I just really like the smell. It's kind of a masculine, musky kind of smell. I like it. It smells very, very pleasant. Um, and I am liking the slip. Okay, so this is how this is looking. So I'm going to... Um, finish applying and then I'll come back when I'm done okay all right so I'm back and I've finished up I've finished <laughs> I finished applying the gel and after I applied all my gel I just sprayed a little water on it and gave it a good shake and that was it so this is how the hair is looking now on the other side so, I'm going to let this dry and see what I come up with. I am hoping and praying that I get great results and I don't get any residue and I don't get any flaking from the mixing of the leave-in and the gel. So, I'll be back when my hair is about 80 to 90% dry and then we can further discuss the reason why I'm trying a new gel. All right, in a minute. All right, so... I am back and my hair is about 85% dry and this is how it's looking. Alright, so on to the reason why I decided to use a new gel for my wash and goes. Okay, so if you've been watching my videos for some time now, you know that Garnier Fructis Pure Clean Gel was my absolute 
favorite staple gel for wash and goes. It dries fast. It leaves my hair with a nice shine. It doesn't weigh my hair down too much. And it smells good. And it has a super strong hold. I absolutely love this. Well, you also know that I have changed my regimen and I've changed a little bit of the products that I have been using, namely my leave-ins. What I'm finding with this conditioner, I mean with this gel, is that it's not mixing well with the leave-ins that I am loving right now to use on my hair. So it's leaving me with some flakes by the third day and I'm not liking that at all. Even though I absolutely love this conditioner, I am not willing to stop using I mean, that's a conditioner, even though I love this gel. I'm not willing to stop using the leave-in conditioners that I am currently using for my hair. So, I'm going to have to put my beloved Garnier Fructis to bed. And that's why I used my Ampro Pro Style Olive Oil Gel. I absolutely love this gel. Now, this gel I predominantly use for braid outs and twist outs. I absolutely love the way my braid outs and twist outs turn out with this particular gel. And it mixes well with like the cream stylers that I have. And it seems to mix well with the leave-ins that I have. Now, I was a little skeptical because I saw a little white in my hair uh, when I applied this, but it seems to have uh, dried and absorbed into my hair, which is a plus plus winner winner for me. And you know, I did do that little trick where you add whatever leave in with your gel into your hand. And if you get any clumps or if it doesn't mix well, you can already tell before you even put it in your hair. So I love that. Um, this is a moisturizing gel, um, it has no alcohol, no parabens. Um, and it is an olive oil gel, like I said. Now, this gel is very, very thick and very, very heavy. It smells so good. As you can see, it's very thick and very heavy. Not like your Echo Styler at all. It's Echo Styler on crack. This gel is really thick and heavy. Um, and as you know, my hair is fine and thin, so very thick gels don't work well with my hair. It leaves my hair limp and stringy looking. However, my hair does not feel limp and stringy looking. What I like about this gel versus the Pure Clean Gel is that it gives me a strong hold, but it's not a super crunchy hard hold like I get from the Pure Clean Gel, which I really like. When I use the Pure Clean Gel, of course, I love the fact that I can get like a four to five day wash and go. So I'm hoping that I get a four to five day wash and go with this as well. At least a four day. So from the hold I feel now, this is like the hold that I would get on a third day or second day wash and go with the pure clean so I'm thinking that this will at least give me up to a three-day wash and go and that is fine with me because I rather have a three-day wash and go than have a wash and go that has flakes in it so like I said this gel was very very heavy but it didn't weigh my hair down too much as you can see now let's compare this gel to one of my older loves the wet line extreme gel I had a serious love affair with the Wet Line Extreme Gel. I still like the Wet Line Extreme Gel. It smells amazing. It is very thick, just like the uh, Ampro Pro Style. The only difference between these two, well, not the only, there's a couple differences between these two gels. Number one, the Ampro Pro Style has slip. The Extreme Gel does not have enough slip at all for my hair. It just it really kind of feels like no slip. So it like since my hair is fine and thin, I have thin hair strands. It it doesn't have enough slip to just glide through my hair. So I feel like I'm tugging on my hair when I add the product. Not to mention it seems to be a bit thicker than the Ampro gel. So I'm gonna just see on my hand. Well, you know what? This is the wet line. This is the Ampro. Actually, in all actuality, the wet line extreme gel is a little bit thinner than the Ampro. However, the Ampro has the slip that I need, unlike the wet line. So if the wet line and the Ampro had a baby, it would be <laughs> the exact match for my hair. But since this wet line is heavy just like the Am Pro but has no slip. I can't really use this 
um, wet line extreme gel because it just really weighs my hair down too much. Not to mention, when this dries, it gives me a super duper fir firm hold, much like the, the Pure Cling, but even more so. So, I'm not really a fan of that too because I like the movement and the body and the bounce that I get in my hair from just using a lightweight gel. So that's why I had to end my love affair with the Extreme Gel. Even though I liked it, it clumped my curls amazingly, it gave me nice shine, and it did mix well with most of my uh, leave-in conditioners and stylers. It just weighed my hair down too much and didn't have a lot of slip. The Ampro is my new love now. This will be my new one of my new stylers for my wash and go since I have to give up my Pure Clean. I absolutely love this. So if you guys have ever tried the Ampro, leave me a comment below and let me know what you think of it. And uh, maybe this little review has helped you if you looked at it um, in your local beauty supply store and maybe thought about picking it up. It's much thicker than the uh, Echo Styler Gel. Um, it's a little bit thick. It's a little bit thicker than the Wetline Extreme Gel even, but it has more slip and it's more moisturizing. Alright, so that's it you guys. So I hope you guys have an awesome day. Until the next video, keep it shining. Peace. Bye.